Hey friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Got the kiddos off to school this morning and I am gonna share our grocery haul. It is the beginning of the week and we've got stuff to restock everything. I'm also gonna put something on for dinner tonight. I was gonna do a what's for dinner video. I was gonna do this a few weeks ago too and then I think I'm not gonna do that but I'm gonna share one of the meals tonight and in another video share another one that I got for this week. So we're gonna get all that done. So when I got my, I was actually gonna do Aldi today. I was gonna do like an Aldi shop with me. I had planned to do that this week and I just didn't feel like it. So I placed a Walmart grocery order. And I remember whenever Walmart first started doing pickup, what, a few years ago, whenever it was, I remember getting these little bags every so often. And I haven't got one in so long, but it's like a little goodie bag. So let's see what's in here. Cal is, um, playing for now i'm sure he'll join me in a minute but okay let's see what's in here we've got a liquid iv have y'all got one of these in a while like it's been so long since i've got one of these i remember getting them like in the very beginning when i first started going and doing a grocery pickup which is like when they first started doing, well, offering this oh a uh, mucinex sore throat got one of those to try i mean it's sore throat season so Cascade Platinum Plus. Throw those in our uh, stock we have. Dove Ultimate. Oh, I'll give this a try. Ultimate Dry Spray. Is it deodorant? Yeah, deodorant. A little sample of that. Um, we've got some Gain Flings. Is that what they're called? Still Flings? The pods. Um, these are yummy. I bet Cal would like these. Pretzels. I like the white chocolate ones. But I like those too. Prime. I hear like a lot about this. I'll probably give that to Delaney and Ren to let them try. Little prime drinks. Downy rinse and refresh. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Like a lotion, lotion or something. Kids are gonna love all this. Sour gummers. Um, a chocolate quinoa crisp. I don't know about that. A piece of chocolate. Yum. I'm sure that's good. Got some aqua four, which is always nice for especially chapped lips. It's really good for chapped lips. I think that's it. A couple little other is this stickers? Maybe not stickers. Oh yeah, it is stickers. Cal would like those. All kinds of little goodies. Oh, they must be doing that for everybody. So let me know if y'all got that this week too. Okay, I wanted to share my fiber supplement that I've been taking for quite some time now. It's been a while since I've shared this, so I wanted to share it again. And I love how it, convenient this is to get. So you just order it on Amazon. You can get it at Target. You can get it at Walmart. But this is a really great gentle fiber. And I really like the Super Fiber Plus Collagen. You get all the benefits of fiber, but then you also get the benefits of collagen as well. So I've been taking the Bellway. Specifically, I really like the Bellway Beauty. Um, I've been taking it for quite some time, a couple years now. And it's really effective and it tastes really good. This is my favorite flavor, the strawberry lemonade i've got some water and i just put a scoop of it you can take it one to three times a day but i just put a scoop of it in some water mix it up and as long as you have like room temperature water it mixes really well but some of the benefits of the fiber and the collagen so you've got um, it helps really bloating it actually helps you keep keeps you fuller for longer your skin stays hydrated because of the collagen but as far as the fiber part it helps keep you regular in a very gentle way so it's made with natural psyllium husk and it's also made with real fruit it has zero added sugars and these are the, all the benefits of it. So you've got less bloating, you feel fuller, you've got skin elasticity, youthful appearance, you've got a happy gut, stronger hair and nails. So this has such a good taste to it. Cal's like, okay, mom, be done now. But I'm gonna finish stirring this up and take it, but I have a link below that's gonna get you a discount on Amazon. But like I said, it's super convenient to get as other places that I always love to get mine on Amazon. So I'm gonna leave that link below. Go take this um, to get y'all and you can go get you a discount on Amazon. All right, got everything laid out. Cal got a little snack. All right, so I thought I'd share what's on our meal plan. I've got stuff to make cornbread, not corn, yeah, cornbread and um, pintos already. I just needed an onion for it. I was gonna make it last week one day, or over the weekend, I think, and then I didn't have an onion, so I waited. So I've got everything for that. We're also gonna do our dinner tonight, which I'll share soon, and then we're gonna do this like chicken pot pie dinner that looks so good as well. 
So I've got chicken in the freezer for that. So we're going to do that one day this week. Um, two things of grapes. I didn't realize I ordered two of them. You don't want that. I didn't realize I ordered two of them, but grapes have been my kids' choice of fruit lately. So it's all good. I'm sure they will be gone. Some baby carrots, some frozen peas. Um, we've got cucumbers, halo mandarin oranges, two onions. You want a cookie? Sure, you can have a cookie. You want one of these or one of these? That. A red cookie? Sure. I really don't buy a lot of stuff with dyes in it. I try to be aware of that. But like when it comes to the bakery treats like this at Christmas time, definitely buy more things like that okay I got this lean stew beef I'm gonna do that for our dinner tonight um, all right so we've got a couple of things of applesauce some Z bars the Walmart brand a couple goldfishes some of the kids prefer regular some of them prefer the extra cheesy ones a couple of these cheese puffs got some animal crackers I saw these so I thought I'd see what the kids think I think I bought them before but it's been a while um, a few different Lunchables. We got three pizza and three of these. Easy to throw in lunch boxes. Got this to go with our dinner tonight. I think I've got one in the pantry, but we needed another box. This is going to be for a dinner. A couple different cereals. We've got some half and half, and we've got some regular original cinnamon rolls, and then we really like the orange rolls as well. So we got some of those. Minced garlic mayo we got a couple things of cream of celery delaney um wants to eat some salad she wants to bring salad for school for her lunches a couple days from my indoor garden so i told her we'd do we'd pick some um greens off of it for that and i told her i'd get her some salad stuff to make or to make a salad for school so we're gonna do that hey is it good um i keep forgetting treats for my bakery dish over there my thing to put all my treats in so I finally stocked up on some treats to go in there it's got some more syrup butter and cheese to go with her salad here we've got some yogurt tubes we've got some smoothies french toast sticks Eggo waffles has been the kids breakfast lately most of the time Capri Suns we've got some other yogurts as well the kids really like eating like yogurt with their spoons as well so I got a few different options for the week orange juice and then this was substitution this was some expensive milk but they didn't have the one i ordered so i agreed to that one okay and i think that's it i think that's my groceries so we're gonna do we're gonna clean out the fridge and we're gonna do a restock of everything
out, got everything restocked. We're gonna cook some dinner for tonight. One of my, really like my favorite meal in my crock pot is something like a roast. And I found this recipe on Pinterest. It is a crock pot beef stew that looks really good in the photo. So we're gonna give it a try and see what we think. I'm gonna chop up like the onion, potatoes, carrots. I think I'm gonna leave the carrots whole because they're little baby carrots. And it looks good and it looks really easy. So we're gonna get started making that. So for this recipe, you're gonna need five potatoes. I've just got four because most of the time the kids don't really eat the potatoes in here. We've got some baby carrots. We're going to do maybe like half this onion. Okay, I adjusted the lighting to make it a little bit better. We, I needed a little more of this. I probably could have used two packs of this, but we're going to use what we've got. Um, two cans of cream of celery. We've got some paprika. We're going to do both containers in here of this dry soup mix. I don't think I need garlic. I think that was for another recipe. And we're gonna do some ketchup, which don't sound the best in here, but we're gonna trust the process and see what we think. First thing we're gonna do, I'm going to um, get all the skin off this potato. up potatoes and onions. Now I'm going to grab a gallon bag and I'm going to put my meat in here and I'm going to do, since I don't have two pounds of meat, the recipe calls for two pounds, I'm going to do one and a half of these onion soup mixes. Um, this is only like not even a pound and a half so like I said, I could have definitely used two of these, but you just never know when you do like a Walmart grocery order. Well, you just never know like how much they're gonna, who, whatever, whoever's picking it out, how much they're actually gonna give you, like what size. So, um, I'm gonna do like one and a half of these. And then I'm gonna do some shakes. It calls for like a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do like a few shakes of the paprika. And I'm gonna give all this a good coating. So next in a bowl, before I, I'm gonna, I just add everything at once. I'm gonna take two cans of cream of celery. And then uh, it says a cup of ketchup. Let's measure. I'm gonna do quite a cup. I'm gonna do close to that. Like I said, this part don't sound the best, but the reviews are good, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna all this to stir. All right, so in my crock pot, we are gonna do the meat. Next, we're gonna add all of our veggies. do all of this to the top and then we're gonna cut this on low for eight hours and then we're going to give it a try once it's done so hopefully it's good all right it's ready it's cooking on low for eight hours got everything restocked I've got dinner on all before I did that all by 11 o'clock so that sounds that's so nice to have all that done. And I know every time my kids come home from school, usually on Mondays, which today's Tuesday, on Mondays they come home and are like so excited to have like a full stock of groceries because by Sunday we are like running very low. So 
Today's Tuesday, so I got it done. So they're gonna be very happy when they get home from school today. So I hope this crock pot meal turns out good. I love, like, I love stuff like this, like hearty meals like this, and I think I'll serve it. I think I've got rolls in the freezer. I hope I have rolls in the freezer. I'm pretty sure I do that I bought last week that we didn't get to. Yeah, we do. So I think I'm just gonna serve it with some rolls and hopefully it'll be good. After about seven hours, um, the recipe calls for eight hours, but it was, everything was good to go after about seven and we were ready for dinner. Everything was um, done. I served this with some Sister Schubert rolls, so I cooked those up. This meal is actually really good. I really enjoyed it. It's just such a good meal to me. So I wasn't so sure about the ketchup and the cream of celery, but it was actually a good flavor, like all combined. So I definitely make it again, but Hope y'all enjoyed coming along for my morning as, as we got everything restocked and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.